Well, here we have the the car and the owner has been the longest way from Sweden, from Australia, and um, we would like to welcome you to Sweden first of all. Thank you very much. Uh, how did you find out about this rally? Ah, uh, well, I received information only by email about it, to be honest, okay. from uh, a connection in Sweden. And you decided right away you will go to this rally, or? Well, I was coming to Europe. We we were coming to Europe to do other rallies, okay. and this fitted with them, so we decided to add this on to the trip. Oh, that's that's very nice yeah. for us to see you. <laughs> okay, can you tell me a little bit about this car? I mean, yes, and, uh, the car is a 19, uh, 1926 Lancia Lambda, seventh series short chassis torpedo which was the standard factory body. Um, Lancia was the first to combine a narrow angle, very short V4 engine with a, the gearbox becoming very short so that it was completely in front of the passenger compartment. Therefore you could get a much lower center of gravity. This was combined with the independent front suspension and the monocoque construction which is very rigid and gives the car very very good road handling. It's just like on rails around the corners. Fantastic for the old car. Uh, how did you uh, find this car? Uh, well there are many Lambdas in Australia um, and um, you know of the fourteen and a half thousand produced by Lancia. Some 460 found their way to Australia with very good agents and they had very good reputation for handling the Australian conditions. And uh, I bought this car in Australia. Um, can we have a look at the engine maybe? Yeah, sure. Well, it's a single carburetor. Sing single carburetor. I'm afraid it's a modern carburetor. Um, they run much better on SU carburetors than the original carburetor. Um, the inlet manifold goes down the center of the head and um, four cylinders to each side on a narrow angle V of about 14 degrees. So the cylinders are all contained within the one block. Okay. Do you have any history of this car? How many owners and so on? Or it's no, I don't. I don't have. I don't have all the all the information right back to. And this is uh, renovated. Uh, you know that, or uh, you oh, yes. bought in this? Oh no, it's all been restored. Yes. yes. Yeah. You done it yourself, or? No, I didn't do this car myself. Uh, I bought this car restored, but I've done a lot of work on the mechanicals since. Okay. Well, um, can we have a little look in the inside as well? Sure. Oh, it's a lot of meters. Can you tell us from the left? It's uh well, we've got the fuel gauge, which was fairly um, rare in 1926. A clock, a speedo, then the various switches, ignition, lights, etc. Choke and um, and hand throttle, um, sorry, techo on the left and then speedo on the right, oil pressure gauge, and then um, because the engines are subject to, um, can, can have heating problems, I have three different thermometers, okay. one on each side of the engine and a cylinder head temperature. Okay. So. You have to stop when it's a little bit too hot, right? Yes. Yeah, we watch those cool carefully. <laughs> no, well, it's all right, but it's only if something goes wrong. Yeah. Otherwise, you blow the engine away. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It would be terrible. Okay. Thank you very much, and good luck with the rally. Thank you very much.